You guys already know what's going on. We're playing some more Cold War Zombies. And since we've been coming back and grinding on here, we've been working towards all of our weapon mastery calling cards, and we still have a bunch left to do, so I'm gonna let the mystery box decide. And just to start us out here, we're going on D-Machina because I feel like this is the easiest way to find the mystery box, or at least the easiest map to find it. So let me grab enough points to get over to it, and then we'll see what weapon we're doing. All right, mystery box, what weapon are we doing next? What's it gonna be? The Mac 10 Oh, uh, I actually might have this one done. Just in case, let's hit it again. Zombies, stay back. The Pallington. I don't actually remember if I have this one. But the snipers are kind of tricky because you do have to get 2,500 headshots with them to get Dark Aether on them. And a lot of the time, I was probably missing my shots. So I might have enough kills to have mastery on it. So just in a very rare case that we have both of these weapons done, we're going to hit it one more time. Okay, the AUG. I'm pretty sure I don't have the AUG. Well, let's go see. All right, let's see if we got the MAC-10 in here. I'm not seeing it. I do see the Pellington, though. We do have the Pellington. And there's the Milano and the AUG. Oh, I don't think we have the MAC-10. Oh, perfect. We don't. Do we have any uh, cool blueprints for the MAC-10? This one's all right. This one's eh. That one's kind of cool. Not the greatest. And decent. Uh, we don't have too many crazy ones. I guess we'll go with... Uh... We'll go with this. And how many kills we need for mastery? Oh, actually not that many, only 500, that's not bad. All right, now that we got our weapon and our build, let's go ahead and hop in and try to get this done. And for this grind, we'll be doing it on Firebase C. So we're heading on in here, having the twin drive us. And just to spice it up a bit, since we only need 500 kills, I'm gonna do it with the Rampage Inducer on. I honestly don't remember how good the MAC-10 is, but I'm sure if I don't have the mastery on it, it can't be that great of a weapon. I'm positive that I've used like every weapon that's like decent in this game, uh, at least like, enough to get 5,000 kills on it. But the MAC-10 was pretty close, so maybe it's a, a borderline decent weapon. Well, I've been having a lot of fun coming back to Cold War and getting these masteries done. It kind of makes me want to go for Dark Aether again, but I don't know if it's too soon. Uh, I have been planning on doing uh, another, like, Road to Dark Aether series. This would be our third one if we go for it. But I was kind of waiting till we we're closer to Treyarch's next game, but... Honestly, there, there ain't a whole lot going on in Modern Warfare 2 at the moment besides me trying to grind through ranked on, you know, Warzone and multiplayer trying to get that camo. But I'm all out of camos to grind on there. And I, I do have my second Road to Orion series going on. Holy shit, don't kill me, please. And I'll still be doing that, but I can't be doing that every day of the week. We got to do something else sometimes. And I have been having a lot of fun going back to zombies. I, I have a few different uh, zombies videos, you know, in the works at the moment. Some of them, not all Cold War. You know, it could be some older games, but uh, there's going to be a nice little throwback, a, a Cold War throwback uh, that I think you guys will like coming up. Oh, and I'm already out of ammo. Great. It's run six. Can we buy some, please? That was probably the fastest I've ever bought ammo in my life. And we got one zombie left. Honestly, it's rare that you see somebody saving a zombie in Cold War, but I'm going to do it just to make sure that we get to the next spot. Shut up, Peck, you little bitch boy. I I Dumbass. Falls for it every time. Ooh, damn, these zombies hit hard. Rampage Reducer is only really scary at like the beginning of the game. When you got nothing. It seems like the zombies are just going to overpower you at any second. Also, I want to apologize if I sound a little uh, congested right now. Allergies are kind of beating my ass. I am off a of Zerky though, which is a Zertek. I don't think that shit's helping. I've just been sneezing like crazy. My nose has had zero breaks. Now let's save a zombie again and go get power on. At least a few reactors worth. Let's make sure we grind the rail. Can't forget that. Eh, kind of a weak grind, but... Still worked. I forgot that we need to actually kill zombies to get the reactor on. So uh, us saving a zombie is kind of pointless. And that should be our first reactor done. Sick. Let's get our second reactor done. And our second reactor is complete. Let's grind this rail. Quick spin too. Ooh, that was nice. Definitely made up for our first rail grind. Now let's start up our last reactor. And our last reactor is complete. All right, we got to take a few zombies out real quick before we can pack a punch. Holy shit. Damn, that nuke was actually kind of clutch. I was getting my ass beat. Um, let's go with, uh... Let's do cryo freeze today. I haven't used cryo freeze in a while. And then we will grab jug. I should have done the juggy strike. I only think about it after I buy it. We'll get dead shot and speed call. Holy shit. Look how fast zombies spawn in. The MAC-10 don't seem too bad when it's pack-a-punch. It's actually got a lot of bullets, like an 80 rounder. I don't even have like the largest mag in this, I don't think. Cause I just used whatever was in the blueprint. That's not the worst gun in the world. Just stamina up so I can keep up with these zombie speed. 
Oh, shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Stun? Nope. Did not go off. I thought I brought quick revive. I guess I didn't. Maybe I should now. I'll get it straight from the source. Holy shit, I'm already about to go down again. Leave me alone, zombies. God damn. Oh, I need that carpenter. Need some armor. Ooh. Swept that whole horde. Okay, Macta might be a little underrated. It is only round 13 though. And I have Pack-A-Punch already. On top of starting with purple. Let's not hop on the Macta and hype train all just yet. Especially since I'm out of fucking ammo. We're already at 300 kills? Well, shit. I'm gonna go to Colonel's then. We don't have that much time with our boys. Let me see if there's any other perks I should buy before I head there though. I should probably get Mule Kick just so I can get some ammo and then Speed Cola and that's fine. And then we will change to Ring of Fire. We actually might be able to get this done before we even see Orta. Actually, not even might. We're only 200 kills away and we need 50 more rounds for Orta. For whatever reason, I always think he's gonna show up on like the first few Assault Waves. But it's only at round 30. What's going on, gentlemen? Good to see you. And now we do the classic. Sit here and shoot. It's still kind of shredding. I don't know. Maybe I've been sleeping on this Mac 10. It's kind of gnarly. Now, who am I kidding? I, I can't even fool myself. This thing's got to be ass at any sort of respectable round. There's no way this thing's doing any damage towards an armored zombie. I can already smell it. It does shoot fast, though. I'll give it that. It's got a pretty good fire rate. Let's power through this assault wave really quick. These first few assault waves are a joke. You don't got to do nothing. It's actually just free points and we're already done with it. You know what? Since we do only have like a hundred more kills to go, I'll, I'll try to get this thing all the way to Orda. If I can survive all the way to Orda, we'll see how I can do against them because I'm curious. And we've been given all this kind of debate about the weapon. We'll see what it's like on around 30. Now let's see what it's like with a ring of fire just shooting continuously because the recoil has kind of been crazy. So let's just try this out. I'm trying to pull down. Or at least I was slightly. Let's see, no pulling down at all, how high it goes up. Actually, hip fire, there's barely any recoil. Okay, what about aiming down? This shit goes into the ceiling. That recoil is wild. Still doing pretty well on these baby rounds though. We'll, we'll wait for the zombie health to catch up a bit before we pack a punch again. Oh, there's our sharpshooter badge. We already got it. it only took 18 rounds. All right, now it's the quest for Orda. We just got 10 rounds to go. Honestly, it's weird how little zombies you get between like round one and 20. Only 500? I feel like once you get towards those higher rounds, like when you're in like the 70s, like whenever I'm trying to go up to round 100, I'm between like 70 and 100. It feels like I'm killing 500 zombies around. It's just crazy how much zombie scales because the between like round one and 20 like the amount of time that's taken in those later rounds it takes like the same amount of time just to get through one round like that's always the slowest part of a grind it feels like it's caught into like three different halves like getting all the way to health cap takes about like i don't know an hour and a half if i'm being efficient and then from health cap to 100 that'll take like double the time but now we only have one more assault wave until orda Assuming we finish this one, which is a pretty good assumption. I don't think I've ever lost one of these early assault waves unless we we're doing this, like some ridiculous challenge. Okay, now these armored zombies are tanking shots. This is what I was I was scared of. And it does kind of look good with the Pack-A-Punch camo on it with this blueprint. Because all the blueprint stuff stays over it. That was like one of the better parts about Cold War. Uh, we, we've been kind of gassing up their bundles a bit last few videos but their blueprints were really good for like mixing and matching with camos and you know other blueprint things you can make some like pretty cool crafts in this game and that should be another assault wave down easy shit and now next time we get a mangler to get stuck while we're here in colonel's office i'm gonna go pack a punch my gun so i'm starting to see the effects of uh the zombies health catching up if we see a full armored zombie we might be toast unless we have ring of fire because this shit is just tearing through these zombies like nothing holy fire rate oh no back up back up motherfucker we're gonna have to throw a stun here oh this is getting hectic ring of fire time damn dude it's crazy how overpowered ring of fire is like, I don't think there's a single field of grade that's better than this. I feel like it's it's Ring of Fire and then everything else under that. I do really like Tesla Storm, though. Tesla Storm's good for, like, 
getting points in those early rounds. And if you're using like melee weapons. But besides that, Ring of Fire is goaded. I'd put no other field upgrade above it. Even though I do really like Toxic Growth. Toxic Growth is fun. I just wish you could put down more than three. If you could put down six bushes for Toxic Growth, that might be like my number one. Because that's just so goofy. You can just sit here and plague plants for zombies. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Shit. Just beat that zombie to death. Let's keep it going. Okay, no, let's not. Let's get out of here. Ooh, okay. Where's the ammo located at? Over here? Yep. Damn, it's almost like meal kick isn't popping off right now. It's not giving me any ammo drops. Now I have to train my way to get back up there. Are you kidding me? Making me train in Cold War? This is ridiculous. Not a single ammo drop? It's all just scrap. I'm getting played. Oh, damn, dude. This thing struggles against manglers, too. I got lucky that I shot his arm there. This might be embarrassing when Orta shows up. I can't let him beat me. But speaking of uh, toxic growth, I still want to do a strat where we have like four people in here with nothing but toxic growth. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. And I'm already out of ammo again. This thing's an ammo eater. Oh, shit. Only 32 bullets with a mimic in my face. I'm out of here. No, I'm not. No, I'm out of here. Yeah, we need to pack a bunch like now. Pack one ain't cutting it anymore. What's going on, rabbit off? I'll be taking that and that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, Mimic, you need to wait a second, pal. Uh, let's get this, 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 and this. And then you can fucking die. Pretty sure that's everything. I think we're all good. We're ready for order. Actually, everything besides armor, but we can grab that on the way there. Let's grab all the way up to armor three. Do we have enough to fully upgrade our gun too? Not quite. I do want to see this thing at its full potential against Orda. Well, maybe like 75% potential because I don't have the best attachments on it. All right, now it's back to just shredding effortlessly. My only concern though, at least with seeing how well this thing's going to do against them, is its range. This thing don't have that much range. And it feels like it only does well hit firing, so I feel like that even worsens it. But even if we got to wait for Orda to get close, we're still going to clap the shit out of him. Has anyone ever used an insta-kill against Orda? I feel like it's impossible, right? Because zombies don't drop power-ups during assault wave rounds. And even if you waited towards the end of the round to pick up uh, an insta-kill, there's still that timer before the assault wave starts. And I'm pretty sure that timer is always going to be longer or as long as whatever power-up you have active. Because insta-kill against Aura got to be crazy. All right, we definitely have enough scraps to get this thing to gold now. There we go. Now let's get through these next few rounds without a ring of fire. I want to make sure I got one for Orta. It's been a little bit since I've seen him. I want him to remember who I am. Actually, I changed my mind. We need it right now. But I will still have one for Orta. Don't you worry about it. You got to be kidding me. How do you always get stuck here? Spawn differently. Adapt. And it's round 30, Orta. You're already late. Better not make me wait long, cocksucker. What? He's still out here? Come on, dude. Bro's shaking in his big undead boots. No one he's got to come and face me. I'd be scared too, Orta. No way, dude. There's that sleazy little fuck. All right, Orta. Let's see what you got, cocksucker. You're going to spawn in right here, you predictable little bitch. Go ahead. Show your portal. Oh, I was way off. Don't matter. Still going to get cooked. Let's see if we can even hit him from right here with our hip fire. Oh, we can. Quick ring of fire on him. Eh, I am doing like 1,300 per shot. It looks like I maxed out 353 or 1353. Already half health. He's barely gotten out of the mist. Oh, you're cooked. You're done. Actually, I might run out of ammo before he's dead. Eh, that was still pretty good. I just need more ammo though. Where are they? Where's the ammo box here? There it is. I'm gonna grab that. I'll be right with you, Orta. Don't you worry. Oh, he's critting. Gersh is going down. Ooh, 1,500 a shot. That's not bad. He's already dead. Pussy. Orta really the weakest bloodline out of any zombie whatever boss. Dude's kind of ass. All right, let's take this jump pad. I never use these things. What's the point? All right, well, now we wait until the, the next exfil, and then we'll get out of here. I guess the jury's kind of still out on the MAC-10. Like, it seems decent enough, but I don't think there's enough ammo in the world for it to be, like, super viable. So I think even with, like, the right attachments on it, it's probably not going too far on its own. But not a whole lot of weapons can. Well, that's, that's not true. There's a decent amount of weapons in Cold War that can, but 
There's only a select few that you can kind of like round 100 solely with that weapon. A lot of them you kind of just need to like use extra things like a death machine or some sort of nade. Maybe even a wonder weapon. But I do think it's fire rate helps out a lot because where, where it doesn't do well like damage wise, it just hits it a lot of times and eventually it'll take it down. All right, let's make like a tree and get out of here before Weaver just takes away our exfil. Let's go. It's time for us to leave. I'm going to grab Gersh's though before then. Oh, shit. Almost a terrible idea. Almost went down before even entering the exfil zone. Oh, and the cocksuckers won't even let me in. Eat a Gersh. You know what? Fuck them. Cruise missile too. It's still crazy that you can even use a cruise missile in zombies. But it is a lot of fucking fun. This has got to be like the one of the mo more chaotic versions of zombies. Or the most chaotic. You can literally just do whatever. And we only have one more zombie left. Where is it? Oh, it's dead. All right. See you, fellas. Let's get out of here, Raptor 1. And our final stats here are 35 rounds, 240,000 score, 1,972 kills, 813 crits, 0 revives, and 1 down. Not terrible. And you better show me my calling card this time. Last time I completely skipped over it. Oh my god, it fucking did it again. It's just gonna show my levels. Okay, cool. We leveled up like three times. There it is. Damn, dude. Why is it so hard to show me, game? And now we have a brand new MAC-10 mastery camo or calling card or whatever. And we still have a shit ton left to do. Actually, while we're looking at the calling cards, I don't have all the dark ops done for zombies, I don't think. Yeah, I think I'm missing the dead ops arcade one, which I don't think is even possible for me to do. I think you need to play dead ops like every day for a year basically to get up to like i think it's like 100 million points or something or a billion points total and the other one's a million kills i only have half of that 554,000. i need to do so much more i feel like i've even gone to like round 100 a bunch since i'm still not that high up that's insane my global rank in zombies though is 36,000. okay this is ridiculous this guy has gotten like 1 billion kills or something in one critical kill okay you can tell the people that hack their way up here. And the people, this guy missed one headshot. Yeah, right. Wait, there's another fucking J Money on here. Stolen Valor. All right, I'm getting too carried away, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.